getting it local tonight. The Walk to Cure Arthritis is coming up in Green Bay June 2nd in an effort to raise awareness for people who are suffering from this disease. And with us now is Mira Lurkwin, who is here to share her story about living with juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and her doctor, Paul Tuttle, a pediatric and adult rheumatologist at Orthopedic and Sports Medicine, also joins us tonight to talk about the upcoming walk and arthritis itself. Well, Mira, tell us, how did you learn you had arthritis? I found out about two years years ago when I had a meniscus surgery after an injury in gymnastics and all my it wouldn't heal and all my joints started swelling and I had pain so then my doctor referred me to Dr. Tuttle and I took a few blood tests and then we found out I had juvenile arthritis. So what's it like living with the juvenile arthritis? Well there are good and bad days. I don't know which one will be tomorrow. I have fatigue, pain and swelling. I have daily meds that I have to take along with infusions that go from six to eight weeks apart, which I have a lot of needle pokes in a year, and I'm on the path to the good, more good days. Good to hear that. And Dr. Tuttle, tell us about this walk and being held for people like Mira. Yeah, so it's going to be on um, Sunday, uh, June 2nd at 9 a.m. at Green Isle Park. And um, so Mira is actually the youth honoree this year, so she gets to give a speech and talk about her story. Um, but we have about 350 walkers who come out, and they help raise awareness, uh, raise support uh, with research for uh, walk to cure arthritis. And how does the walk help? Um, awareness is, is, is a big, uh, big one, um, then raising money uh, for research, um, and then just people who suffer from arthritis, um, just getting to know other people who um, have the same disease is a great benefit. And what are the treatment options? Mira mentioned some of them, and I imagine this, is it different for juvenile arthritis and, and yeah. arthritis for older people? Yeah, so arthritis is a, it's a general term we use to mean a disease or a joint pain, um, but there's lots of different kinds. And so what Mira has is an autoimmune or inflammation kind. Um, so in Wisconsin, about um, 6,000 children suffer from juvenile idiopathic arthritis or this inflammation autoimmune kind um, to where the body's attacking itself and causing this inflammation. And so you see on TV often the commercials um, that talk about, talk to your rheumatologist about this medication or that medication. Um, so these are these special new medicines that came out from the research um, to attack the inflammation and to stop the body from attacking itself. Um, but often the word arthritis can mean, um, in most people, just as you get older, your knees wear out and you need a new, new, new knee replacement or need a knee replacement or you need a hip replacement. But, um, so it can mean many things, but right. know, for, for Mira, it's, it's the inflammation kind. And so I know you're encouraging everyone to come out on June 2nd. And where is the walk? So it's Green Owl Park. Okay. Yep, All Green right. Bay. Thank you so much, Dr. Tuttle and Mira. And and hope you have continued good health in the future. And if you'd like to learn more about the walk, head to our website, wearegreenbay.com. Tom?